Look, at the outset, I would like to wish the Leader of the House a happy birthday. Uh, I believe ah. it's your birthday today, so happy birthday. Uh, I would also like to agree with everything Senator Norris said this morning. We are the one workforce in the country that has no representation anywhere. They can change our terms and conditions of employment, and we don't have a word or anywhere to go. Which brings me on to another issue. There was a, an article in the papers uh, about two weeks ago about a very senior civil servant, I know I'm not allowed to use names, so I won't, who was intending to move from one department to another with a bump in his salary of €81,000. We were told it was €112 a pace as he walked from one department to the other. How do we equate that with the issue of pension abatement, which is theft of a pension? That's what it is. If you check the papers today about pension and pension rights, you will see former members of this House who were found guilty of wrongdoing, who were given their pensions and we were told you couldn't touch it because it was a property right. You will find prisoners in Mountjoy Jail who the Department of Social Protection tried to stop their pensions and the Supreme Court ruled a pension is a property right. You cannot touch it. We're now in the crazy situation in this House where the position of Captain of the Guard has been advertised. And any member of the military or the Guardi who may be retired and wish to come here as their predecessors did, will not now apply because of abatement. But a member of the PSNI retired, or a former British uh, soldier retired, can apply to come here as captain of the guard, and if successful at interview, not only will they get the salary for the job, they will retain their pension. Now, the bottom line on it is this country needs to decide, and the government need to decide, is abatement legal? I believe it's not, and if I don't see something coming forward very soon on it, I will take the matter to the High Court and we will see what the High Court does. I can't do it myself, but I will do it for those that are currently suffering it. I wonder if the Leader agrees with me that abatement is theft of a property right. Uh, 